Perhaps the greatest of human needs, outside of air, water, and food, is the need for certainty, a guarantee of the familiar. I'm not going outside unless there's a degree of certainty to convince me that the rumbling in the bush I just heard isn't a saber-toothed tiger waiting to use me as a chew toy. The need for certainty is, is primal, and it's a need that has helped shape the story of human progress. Just imagine what took place in the Renaissance. The explosions of expression, beauty, and creativity that changed the world only came out because of the certainty that war, famine, and disease weren't lurking around the corner just to wreck everything. The Renaissance means rebirth, something new. The, the presence of certainty can lead to new things, of course, but it can also lead to frustration, resentment, and to ruin. We all need certainty in life, but it has to be balanced. Why? Because certainty and potential don't always speak the same language. One is saying you can live your dreams, and the other is saying not yet. One is saying it's okay to be you, and the other is saying not now. Are you addicted to certainty? Maybe that's the reason you're not satisfied. You may be playing it too safe because you're not certain what's on the other end. Maybe that's the reason you're frustrated, because you're not certain that you can trust again. You're not certain that you can be vulnerable without being made to feel foolish. So you stay angry and balled up, carrying the burdens of where you came from, what happened to you, all by yourself. When you're certain about life, it means life is familiar. And when life is familiar, growth struggles. That's why familiarity breeds contempt. I want to take the point home, but I have to complicate it a bit with this. Can you love me even when you don't like me? You talk about love, but you forget that to love is a skill. And skills are the result of what you throw your whole self into. You throw your whole self into medical school and you become this skill called doctor. You throw your whole self into parenting and you become the skill called mother or father. But here's the catch. You will never be exposed to your whole self until you fully commit to the process. But ask most people why they didn't start, why they didn't finish, why they didn't even try. And they'll tell you, because I wasn't certain. I wasn't certain I could do it. I wasn't certain I could finish. I wasn't certain they would like me. I wasn't certain I would survive it. I wasn't certain. They're looking for a guarantee. A guarantee of certainty, something familiar. So they never get to see what they could have been. They never throw their whole selves at it. They never discover who they really are. No skills. You know, you go to medical school without throwing your whole self at it, and you won't become a doctor. You just become somebody who went to medical school. Try being a parent without throwing your whole self at it. And you won't be a father. You'll just be some dude who had a kid. Certainty in life will get you far. But if you want to go all the way in, if you want to know what else is really in you, you're going to need some unfamiliar. You're going to need some dark corners, some sketchy patches, some friction points, and some surprises. Can you love me even when you don't like me? I asked you that. But let me say it like this. Can you love you even when you don't like you? See, there's a whole, whole lot of uncertainty in that. <laughs> if you're addicted to certainty and to the familiar, then a question like this will terrify you. It will keep you right where you are. But the answer, if you're willing to sacrifice certainty, will bring you liberation. It can terrify you, but it's the beginning of liberation. Each step into uncertainty and into doubt will free you. Life happens when you're not looking. When you don't really know. When you don't expect it. Everything else beyond that is called a plan. So I'm asking you, do you have skills to love? Do you even have skills to love yourself? Because that takes a bunch of uncertainty. It takes some unfamiliar places. It takes some dark corners. Do you have that skill? 
It's about throwing your whole self into it. It's about discovering what there is outside of certainty. So the best way to break your addiction to certainty is a consistent series of baby steps towards the unknown. Take your mind somewhere new every day. Where certainty ends, curiosity, ambition, passion, and drive take over. So take the leap and welcome to the rest of your life. My name is Angelo and I'm the motivator.